Here's a sample student paper. Unfortunately, you can see my ink all over this one. I don't think you want your papers to look like this. The paper was pretty good. The APA format was pretty bad. So how do we avoid this? How do you get all the points that you can get for APA format? Well, unfortunately, a lot of the web resources that I've found have been incorrect. And if you go to the APA publication manual, even though it's a great source, it's a very thick book and it's very confusing. So let's start with the basics. The first section of the paper that we're going to cover is the cover page. So let's look at a actual cover page. I have my computer pulled up to just a blank document and this is where you want to start with Microsoft Word. Now the first thing that we want to do is insert the headers. Now that's the very top of your paper. The first page is actually going to be different from the rest of the page. That's something that students oftentimes mess up. But before we even do that, we want to make sure that the margins are correct. So on your APA style format papers, you're going to have one inch margins all around at the top, bottom, left, and right. Students try and pull uh, larger margins into their papers, I think to make them look longer. But their papers end up looking like the side of a cereal box, and you don't want your text like that. So you want full one inch margins. How do you do that? Well, we go here, and you go to Page Layout. Click on Page Layout, and then you see this box right here, Margins. Click Margins, and here, the normal setting is what you want, one inch all around. So just click on that, make sure it's all set up. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is put in the header. So, uh, let's go back home here. Um, we didn't really need to do that, but let's go now to insert. And then we want to go all the way over here to header. So click on header. Now, the first thing that we want to do is click on the blank. Go to the first one here. So click there, and then this header menu comes up. We want a different first page, so click here. Now you're ready to write your header. Now before you put in header, it's followed only on the first page by the words running head. So no matter what your paper is about, no matter what subject you're writing your APA style in, you always write the words running head. Now just the R is capitalized. Oh, I have cap locks on here, so running head and then colon alright look at that always get it like that capital R but lowercase h now you're ready to write your title now we haven't written the actual title and your header is gonna be an abbreviated version of your title if your titles really long I, th I think what you wanna typically do is keep it less than 50 characters but here I, I really don't know what to call this paper let's just call it sample APA style paper that's good for that. Now, here's a tricky thing, and I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. I think different people probably have different ways of doing it. But what you want to do is insert the first page number. So I went too far there. Um, I just tabbed over, all the way over to the right, and just type 1. All right, this might not be the technical way to do it, but for your first page, it's fine. Then click Close Header. Okay, so that's the top of your paper. Everything looks good there. You got your running head and your page number. Now, the next thing that we want to do is make sure that the paper is double spaced. There's, there's nothing more frustrating when a student spends all this time writing like a five page paper, but then they single space it. That's like writing a 10 page paper. So do this for yourself. Go down here to spacing and just click double and then click OK. 
Okay, now you're ready for double spacing. <sighs> now, we've got the running head, now we've got to put the title. So this is a fun part of the paper. Just click enter like 10 times. Uh, I don't know why, but students always put their title up at the top, at the bottom. I really don't know. Throw it in the middle of the page. I think that was like 7. So we'll go 7. That looks about right. Yeah, that's right in the middle. Okay, so we have our paper title, and it's sample A, P, A, style, paper. Okay, you got your title up. Now what do you do? Well, I mean, if you really want to technically do this right, there's just three things that you need. You have your title, your name, and the name of your university. So write it out. Whoops. Okay, so everything's double spaced. This is so simple. That's it. Now once in a while you'll run into a professor that wants additional information like their name or dates or something like that. If you do that, throw that down at the bottom of the page. For me, I really don't care, um, and I don't think you need it for strict APA format, but it might make you nervous not having that. Ask your professor if you need it, throw it at the bottom of the page. The next thing that we're going to do is set up the header on page 2. So if you click at the top, or again, go insert header so we just clicked here header um, go to blank type text okay now what do you put on the second page second page is just the header you don't use the word running head at all so what we have here is sample APA style paper. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. Once you have this here, you have to insert your page numbers, and this screws students up all the time. So what I do is I go back to that position, one inch over, and then I do something different. I go over here, we're already on the insert tab, but I click page number. And then it gives you the option to insert your page number at the top of the page, bottom of the page, page margin. If you click top of the page and the right, it's going to delete your header. So what you do is you click current position and then click plain number. And two will pop in and then you're good to go. Now, I just noticed a mistake. See my text here? I've got Calibri body 11.5 I don't want that so for your APA style paper what you're gonna do just always do this this is, is something that you always want to do um, and students always try and use crazy fonts and huge font sizes to make the papers longer don't do that just use Times New Roman and 12 point font now, if for some reason you have a table or something in your paper, then you're going to want to use Arial. But if you just stick with Times New Roman and 12 point font, you'll be good to go. So let me just correct all these errors here. And again, Times New Roman, 12 point font. Okay. So we've taken care of the headers on all the subsequent pages. We've got our cover page. And this cover page looks good to me. So if a student turned in that cover page right there, I wouldn't mark anything off. Again, you might have a professor that might want some identifying information at the bottom of the paper. Um, that's case by case. So check that out. Now the next section that we're going to do is the abstract. So um, let's start that in just a second here.